If someone told you that for just over $80,000 you could own a Tesla electric plane, you would probably laugh. Yet, the same thing was said about electric cars 15 years ago. And that crazy idea became a movement. This time, the shift goes beyond motors and batteries. It sets off a domino chain, a shockingly low price, lower operating costs, a network of smart charging, manufacturing at true industrial scale, and software that puts safety first. Taken together, these forces challenge Boeing's long-held dominance in the sky and hint at a new era of flying that is simpler, cheaper, and closer than most people think. Before we dive deeper, I'd love your support. If you enjoy clear, practical tech with real-world value, please hit subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and join a community that keeps cutting through hype to what actually works. Your click helps this series grow, and it means you'll never miss the next chapter. 1. At a surprising price point, how might the Tesla super electric plane open the skies and change the game? The $83,595 price tag of the Tesla super electric plane sits far below the mainstream 4 to 5 seat piston market. A new Cessna 172 typically runs $400,000 to $600,000. A Piper Archer TX about $400,000 to $520,000 and a new Cirrus SR22 exceeds $1 million. Against those reference points, $83,595 pushes the ownership barrier down to roughly one-fifth to one slash tenth, which invites individuals flying clubs, flight schools, and local service businesses into the market instead of waiting on the sidelines. The low entry price of the Tesla Super Electric plane only reaches full effect if operators can take off, land, and fly frequently. The United States has about 5,100 public use airports out of nearly 19,500 total. So a dense decentralized infrastructure already exists. With a Tesla super electric plane price so much lower, small operators near neighborhoods, highways, or industrial parks can plausibly own one or a few aircraft to serve local demand without relying on major hubs. Another lens shows why price matters. Gamma reports that 2024 general aviation deliveries totaled roughly $31.2 billion in value built largely on high purchase prices. If the Tesla super electric plane creates an unusually low entry point, pent-up demand can be released, especially practical missions at the individual and small business level where budget has been the primary barrier. As the barrier falls, the Tesla super electric plane unlocks real short-range use cases. In Turtown travel, commuter hops, on-demand air taxi, and light cargo within a few hundred miles. These missions exploit the existing public airport network, raise daily utilization, and can turn the Tesla super electric plane into a steady cash flow service. This is not Boeing's direct arena since its portfolio centers on the 737, 787, 777, and related cargo types. The edge impact appears in two layers. First is partial substitution on very short routes that now rely on small propeller aircraft or charter services. Second is an indirect hit to the service and aftermarket ecosystem. Boeing Global Services generated nearly $20 billion in 2024. As short missions electrify and shift to a loper platform like the Tesla Super Electric Plane, marginal service revenue linked to short haul operations comes under pressure. Even if Boeing does not compete in small aircraft at $83,595, what's your pick? Tesla, Super Electric Plane, or a fully loaded pickup? Drop your reason below. Two, a low price is just the ticket. What really decides survival is the cost per flight hour. So, how do electric planes beat gas on that? There are two core points. First, the electric motor in the Tesla super electric plane has very few moving parts, needs no oil changes, and avoids a complex fuel and air system. So, 
The maintenance cost per flight hour has a strong basis to drop sharply. Experience from electric cars shows lifetime maintenance costs can be about half those of gasoline cars, which is a positive signal when bringing electrification to general aviation. Second, the Tesla super electric plane can have a markedly lower energy cost per flight hour. A certified small electric example such as the Pipistrol Velis Electro uses about 22 quad hours of battery for nearly 50 minutes of flight. With U.S. commercial electricity around 12 to 13 cents per kilowatt hour in mid-2025, a full charge is roughly $2.60, 6 to $2.90. And even with charging losses, it is still only a few dollars per cycle. For contrast, with a traditional solution, a training Cessna 172 burns about 9 to 10 gallons per hour. With average National 100 LLAG gas around $6.00 0 per gallon in September 2025, fuel alone runs about $55 to $65 per hour, not counting oil, spark plugs, overhauls, and other maintenance items. That gap is the foundation that lets the Tesla Super Electric Plane cut variable cost per flight hour versus piston aircraft. Given that cost structure, the business model becomes more flexible. The Tesla Super Electric Plane allows fleet owners to price short hops more gently because each flight burns far less cost. Routes of 50 to 150M between towns with small airports become more viable. The existing U.S. network includes about 5,100 public-use airports out of nearly 19,500 total, which means the Origento destination infrastructure is already in place for a small Tesla Super electric plane fleet to achieve high daily turns. Higher turns combined with lower costs produce steadier cash flow and easier scaling. Market impact will appear at the edges where Boeing has little direct presence. Boeing's portfolio focuses on the 737, 787, 777, and large cargo types, while short commuter hops, on-demand air taxi, and fast light cargo runs of a few hundred miles are the sweet spot for the Tesla Super electric plane. Even on the fuel side, the advantage tilts toward electricity. Jet fuel on the U.S. Gulf Coast spot market has recently hovered around $2 to $2.20 per gallon at the wholesale level and retail at FBOs is often significantly higher. This reinforces the cost advantage of electric flight on high-frequency short routes, which in turn eritus marginal revenue tied to small gasoline or turbine fleets. Three, if you cannot recharge in time, the cost advantage evaporates. How does the air supercharger network solve that bottleneck? Instead of treating an airport as only a refueling stop, the Tesla super electric plane turns it into a smart charging node. An air supercharger station combines a high-power converter, a DC megawatt-class connector, and an on-site energy storage buffer. During peaks, the buffer discharges to hold power steady. During off-peaks, it refills from the grid or solar. The question shifts from whether you can charge to how fast you can turn idle time into minutes that matter. At megawatt power levels, 